nine Romeo Mike Romeo repeat this is K nine R M R currently monitoring. You didn't quite get that. Could you say again, please? Randall, it's Noel at 9CJT. Do you know much about printers? Well, I've got one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it depends what kind you got, I guess. Okay. Well, I've got one, too. And uh, I've tried, well, since the last Windows 10 update, um, I have been unable to send to the printer, have the computer recognize the printer, or have the printer recognize that there are any drivers available for it from not one but two Windows 10 machines, and yet the printer still works beautifully with a Mac. Well, uh, you may have to talk to Joe, because I'm, I'm a Mac user myself. I don't have a window. Well, I would say I don't have a but I got an old laptop that somebody gave me, but I never use it. Uh, but I'm a, I am use my Mac all the time, and so I'm really not up to date on what Windows, you know, how I wouldn't know how to tell you how to do anything with the Windows update or drivers or anything like that. Okay. Well, just curious. Yeah, Joe's calling the net here in about half an hour, so... I'll maybe catch him afterwards and ask. You doing okay this evening, Randall? Yeah, listen, I was going to talk to you anyway. Uh, I got some good news. Uh, I sent a letter uh, the other day to the, the new homeowner. I think I told you about that. Uh, about the uh, seeing if they wanted to either sell or get rid of that tower. And I got a call this afternoon about 3 o'clock. And she, uh, the wife, uh, told me that if I wanted it, it was all mine. So, so I told her, I said, well, I'll be talking to some people tonight and uh, trying to figure out. Uh, I said it may take us a week or so to, you know, arrange everything, but uh, we'll, I'll figure some way to get it down and at least get it off your property uh, within the next week or so. So I was, that just kind of made my day that I've uh, got access to uh, as soon as I can figure out a way to. Uh, get the tower down and moved over, uh, it, it's, you know, I'm just kind of excited. <laughs> well, that's cool. Uh, is that a 40-footer? Do you remember? I think it's 50. I couldn't swear to that, but I think so. The club has a gin pole. I don't know if there's enough rope to go that high or not, because that would have to be at least 100 feet to lower it safely from the top section. But uh, do you know how old it is? Uh, no, I don't. I have no idea. Okay. Well, I'll put out a little blurb. CARC 79 to see if there's anybody interested in an antenna party. Well, that sounds good. Um, I guess my uh, plans were just to first get it down. You know, obviously we got to get it off of their property. I mean, it's just next door, but the first thing is obviously to get it down and get it get it off of their property. And then my second plan was to, I guess I would probably want to paint it maybe black or something to make it look, look nicer uh, and then go from there. That's the thought. I don't know if uh, the club can respond within a couple weeks, though. It may take longer. Okay, well, I, like I said, I don't know exactly what's going to be required to get it down and get it moved. I, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm not too big of a hurry to, you know, actually get it back up and but I mean, I think the main thing is just getting it down, and get it moved, and getting off of their property, so you know that it's, that part of it's done. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to probably go online and see what I got to do as far as you know, being able to, uh, you know, uh, for the actual antenna, and then getting it gra properly grounded, and going to have to going to have to do some uh, do some research and reading, because obviously I've never done that before as far as you know that kind of stuff. So. It's uh, it's gonna be one of those learning experiences, which is you know part of the fun, I guess. 
Roger that. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. Uh, last I looked at it, I can't remember whether it was still pretty silver or had turned to rust, but uh, I'm thinking it was still pretty much the aluminum-looking stuff that uh, those Phillips Towers have normally been, unless they're too old. Well, I haven't looked at it real close recently, but, uh, I mean, I can see it from where I'm, I'm, outside, I'm outside the front porch right now, but, uh, I can see it from where I'm at, the sun's right on my face, but, uh, I mean, overall it looks pretty good, so I just, I just figured if I, you know, got it down, got it painted, uh, you know, one step at a time, obviously, so, uh, I was, uh, seriously, I mean, she, she, she gave me that call, and she was like, uh, cause what I did, like I said, I wrote her a nice letter and just said, you know, hey, I'm interested, or you, do you want to get rid of it, do you want to sell it, blah, 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 and she's basically like, we don't like it, it's ugly, if you want it, you can have it, so I was just, you know, it was just like, ah, so excited. Sure. Well, that's how I ended up with the tower that I have up here. Um, my next door neighbor, probably getting close to 20 years ago, uh, wanted to do some work on the side of his house, and the tower was in the way, and he didn't want it, so uh, I offered to take it down for him, and I got me a free tower. Well, that sounds pretty good. Like I said, uh I figure at least if I can if I can get you know like I said getting it up is gonna be another project in itself. But, uh, but right now I'm just trying, like I said I'm just it's just one of those things. I, was, I you know found out I was going to get it and, and kind of excited and like I said I'm gonna have to like I said I'm gonna have to get on the YouTube and do some research on as far as you know what we have to do to get it. I, I, you know I want to make sure it's grounded good and uh, I mean because right now they'll just you know, if I can get it up it'll just be using this little handheld. But eventually, I want to get. I'm looking at the uh, FT uh, the FT one uh, D 101, which is a Yesu. So I'm thinking eventually that's the one I'm going to go with, uh, at least for right now. So uh, that's the plans in the hopefully not too far future. So, but uh, like I said, I was just excited today, and I'm taking it one step at a time. Okay, um, I will comment, and you'll probably see this warning from all kinds of different sources, but uh, when you go digging a hole or driving a ground rod or whatever, uh, make sure you call Holy Moly first. Isn't that, the, isn't that like, uh, what is it, 6 one, it's not 9 one, it's like 6 one, one or something, 5 one, one or something like that? Gosh, I don't remember, but I'm sure you can find it with a Google search. Um, they will come out and survey your yard and mark wherever the uh, gas and electric and uh, sewer and water source and whatever you've got there is um, so that you don't end up doing something like uh, driving an eight-foot ground rod into a high-pressure line. Yeah, that would not be good. Yeah, I've seen signs before. At least I was thinking, where was I? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, the signs that said it was either five one one or six one one, something where you dial a phone and you they call uh, to get that information out. Like I said, you're right. I'll just do a Google search and find out what I got to do. Uh, the neighbors are uh, that they just moved in are putting in either gas. Or water or something. I don't know. They've got green flags and little green flags and little yellow flags. So they're doing something too. So, but uh, that's that. Yellow is Vectrin. Uh, I'm not sure what green is. That might be a sewer line. Okay, that that might be the uh, here in Taylorsville. We got a the water. It might be the sewer or it might be the uh, the water. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know if they. I don't know if the neighbors are on uh, uh, city water or pump water. I don't know. There's some people out here in Tuzville that are still on the pump. Aren't on this. Uh, the, well, well, what we call city water. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, sounds like you got your work cut out for you. Uh, K9 
RMR N9 CJT. I won't keep you. Okay, well, listen, I appreciate uh, any and all help, and uh, like I said, between you and Joe, you you, you two are kind of my uh, information resources, uh, aside from the Internet, so uh, like I said, I really do appreciate your help, and uh, I'm sure we'll be we'll be talking about it more in the future, so uh, uh, I'll let you go. Uh, talk to you later. K9RMR, uh, N9CGT, uh, 73 clear.